In this quick video, you're going to learn how to grow potatoes in pots, benefits, and some key potato growing tips in eight simple steps. This, one. this is Tim. Organic Backyard Gardening is focused on helping you grow more food with our tips and tricks. If you like gardening and want to grow more food, subscribe to this channel. Potatoes are great to grow in pots. If you don't have a lot of grow space, pots are great alternatives. Instead of having to dig them up in the garden, you can simply dump the pots out onto tarps. Number one, selecting the type. Most plants require 65 to 100 days to mature completely. Potatoes come in hundreds of varieties, so look forward to different shapes, flavors, and slightly different lengths of grow time. If you like to harvest potatoes throughout the summer and fall, select early, mid-season, and late-season seeds. It takes about 10 weeks for potatoes to grow large enough for harvest. Number two, where to get them. You might be able to use organic store-bought potatoes, but they may not grow well. As mentioned, you'll have more flexibility of variety over seed potatoes. You're better off going to a seed company like High Mowing Seeds, which I've had great success with. Let's check them out in the link in the description below. At the time they were out of stock, so I went with the Grand Teton Organics. I'll put a link in the description below. Number three, when to plant. You can plant them out a few weeks before your last expected frost. You don't want to start them too early as the foliage can be susceptible to frost. If they do get hit with frost, they'll recover, but they'll take up more energy from the plant. Four, how to prepare your potatoes. About four to six weeks before your last expected frost, you can prepare your potatoes. Potatoes should have eyes. If they don't have eyes yet, put them in a warm, sunny area. Once they form eyes, position the potatoes with the eyes up. After a few weeks, little buds will develop. They'll be ready to plant when the buds are about half an inch long. You can cut the larger seed potatoes into pieces, each containing at least two buds. If you do cut, Wait for the cut surfaces to callus over by leaving them to sit for a couple days before planting. What pots to use? I'm using smart pots. I like these fabric pots because they drain well. If you're using a plastic bin or bucket, make sure you drill holes in the bottom so they can drain. Now, what size do I use for how many seed potatoes? Well, here's some general recommendations. Three gallons, one seed potato. 10 gallons, three to four seed potatoes. 15 gallons, five seed potatoes and 20 gallons around seven seed potatoes. We're using the 20 gallon smart pots. If you want something more movable, focus on the 10 to 15 gallon pots. 20 will be a little difficult to move. Six, soil mixture. I'm using a 50-50 mixture of organic potting soil and compost. You could also use equal parts of potting soil, peat moss, and manure or compost. With using manure or compost, you shouldn't really need to fertilize, but if you do fertilize, use a fertilizer that has phosphate and less nitrogen. Potatoes like phosphate. Nitrogen will really focus on leaf growth, not the potato growth. Planting. Add six inches of soil into the bottom of the pot. Then, in a circular fashion, plant the seed potatoes about a few inches apart. You'll see here how we put six potatoes around the edges and one in the center. Plant with the chits up, then cover with another couple inches of soil to make sure that they're not exposed to sunlight. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. Helpful links are in the description below. Step eight, maintaining. After planting, place the pots in full sun. Consistently water to keep the soil damp but not soggy. Soon you will see little stems pop up through the soil. Add a few more inches of new soil but do not fully cover the leaves. The leaves need sun and air exposure. As the potatoes continue growing, continue adding more soil compost mix until you reach the top of the container. And harvesting will depend on your location and variety. If you want small potatoes during the growing season, you can just reach your hand in and pull them out. Towards the end of the summer, the leaves and stems will begin to turn yellow. When the leaves have died back and the weather is cooled, stop watering about two weeks prior to harvest. Dump the pots into a garden or a tarp so you can save the soil for next year. After you carefully dug up your potatoes, leave them out in the sun for an hour or two to dry. Don't wash them, just let them dry. Then gently sweep the dirt off with your fingers. Eat damaged ones right away as they may not store well. Do not eat any potatoes with green skin. For long-term storage, allow potatoes to cure in a dark place with temperatures at about 55 degrees for the first two weeks. The humidity should be close to around 85%.
Move the potatoes to a dark area after that with temps no cooler than 40 degrees for long-term storage. If you like this video, you'll probably enjoy learning from my other videos, like this one in the top right, Bush Beans, the ultimate guide for high yields, which now has over 600,000 views. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe by clicking in the bottom right. See you on the next video, and happy growing!